Do you want to give us an intro? Who are Taj and Jules? Who are Taj and Jules? Did you guys not watch last year? <laughs> hey guys. Oh my God, stop watching me. No, you're going to have to wait till they turn away. Taj and Jules are our main techs for World Cup. Uh, they ran a suspension service center in Scotland for quite a while. But yeah, they're both super dialed and they've got some video equipment and some skills. So we're going to get them to kind of run you through different little tech tips. Hi guys, we've noticed from the comments in the dialed video series that a lot of you are after some tech or how-to videos. We are very fortunate to still have access to our workshop at our home here in Scotland, so we're going to film a few for you. We all use them and we all abuse them, but do we really know what they do? Talk about the humble dust wiper oil seal. We're going to take a look inside this baby, find out what exactly is going on. There's four main parts to the dust wiper seal. On the outside, the part that you can see is the dust wiper. That makes sure that no dark dust, mud gets inside your fork and it also wipes the stanchion clean to try and get all the dirt out of the way. On the other side, on the bottom where you can't see, there's a double up oil seal. It keeps all the oil inside the fork where it can lubricate your bushes and keep everything running smoothly. On the outside there's a metal band which holds the seal snugly inside the lower leg casting and there are also two energizer rings one on the oil seal and one on the dust seal they just provide a tiny tiny little bit extra force on the rubber to hold it against the stanchion and keep any crap out your fork. So how do you look after it? There's not too much you need to do because all the goodness is already inside the lower leg lubricating the bushes and the foam to keep things supple. The main thing is to give it a wipe. Make sure that your stanchion and the top of the seal that you can see is clean. So I like to do this after every ride. Grab your microfiber cloth, quick her through the stanchion here and give it a good clean. Make sure all the dust and dirt's off there and wipe the wiper seal. There we go. So when you're washing your bike, be real careful with the hose or detergent cleaners. I wouldn't spray any on the stanchion area and make sure not to point the power washer or hose directly at the seal. So here's a wee demo to show you why. We've got your lower leg and the bath oil in the lower leg. Obviously a little bit more oil than you would have in your fork, but hey. And here's that detergent and water that sneaks past your seals. as you can see there, it emulsifies the oil. This no longer has any lubricating properties, it's just going to cause damage and accelerated wear in your fork. But remember, keeping your wiper clean and your stanchion free of dust is no substitute for regular maintenance. You can check out ridefox.com for more info and service intervals for your product and on how to carry them out. So there you have it, the often underappreciated dust wiper seal. It's not just a simple piece of rubber, so look after it. Taj and Jules ran through the fork seal wiper configuration and kind of its function. On the new 36 and new 38s, we have these bleeder valves. And there's been a little bit of misinformation or misunderstanding of what they do. Uh, these have nothing to do with the actual air spring that's in the fork. All they're doing is venting pressure that's in the lower leg. That pressure does two things. It increases the progressivity of the fork, but not in a good way, because it's not actually a part of the main air spring, so it's not balanced by the negative spring, it's totally separate. So the other thing that happens when pressure builds up is that it puts a squeeze on the fork seal. So they're holding back pressure from the inside that's pushing them tighter so they're actually gripping the fork leg even harder which adds a bunch of friction and neither one of those things are anything you want so yeah i'll just 
pop one of these little bleeders out just so you can see exactly what it looks like. It's very basic. It's really just a little check valve. Let's things out one way when you push the button and won't let things back in. So these little buttons make sure that you can't let air out when the fork compresses because that would completely change your spring rate as well. But when you push the button, you let the trapped air out. The little cap just captures this spring. And there's a tiny little O-ring there and a spring and that's all it is. You just create a little leak. So yeah, pretty basic, but really helpful for keeping performance when you go up an elevation or you do a ton of little shuttle runs or really just anytime you go ride your bike, push the button. Running out of seals to chop in half. <laughs>